From being featured in Forbes to an exclusive interview with Dr. Phil, this video is going to get interesting. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Film Insight channel. Today we're going to cover the greatest episode in Kitchen Nightmares history. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get straight into the content guys. Over the years, Kitchen Nightmares has featured some crazy restaurants with even crazier owners. But the 16th episode of the 6th season catapulted the popularity of the show to new heights. We're talking about the greatest episode to ever be filmed involving Amy's Baking Company. Trust me, this is arguably one of the craziest ones out there. So let's take a deeper dive into the episode that first aired on May 10th back in 2013. The episode focuses on Amy and Sammy Buzaglo, who are the owners of Amy's Baking Company, located in Scottsdale, Arizona. For the first time in the history of both the UK and US editions of the show, Jeff Ramsey wasn't able to complete the restaurant's transformation. Wondering why? Well, that's because the owners who asked him for help simply wouldn't let him do anything. The horrible and mean behavior of the two owners shocked the audience and attracted a huge amount of negative comments. Even those who weren't ardent followers of the show were drawn to Amy's madness. The episode was thrown even further into the limelight when Forbes used the small town company as an example of how a business shouldn't react to social media comments. So what exactly makes this episode so special? Let's get straight into it. At the beginning of the episode, Amy and Sammy Buzaglo explain the history of their company and how it all began. Amy goes into great detail as to how Amy's baking company came to be. She said, It was at a very early age that I discovered I had a real, true passion and talent for anything having to do with the culinary art. So in 2006, Sammy invested over a million dollars into this restaurant to make my dream come true. Now, right before the day Chef Ramsey arrived at the restaurant, the crew caught Sammy having a heated argument with a customer, and well, it was all caught on tape. A customer was complaining about how his friend had to wait over an hour for his pizza, and Sammy completely blew up on him. Check out what happened. We're waiting on one pizza. It's Look at him, he's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Yeah, you have a pizza, it's coming. You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what did you have in your f***ing you serve. Go you m He then kicked the two customers out of the restaurant, and Amy actually threatened to call the police on them. No, 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 get out of here. Go, go, go. Things settled down only after a cameraman from the crew intervened and showed the customers out. You go. No, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. You. I'm Call out. the police. Take the money. No, I want the money from him. Talk about a wild beginning, huh? Cut to when Chef Ramsey arrived at the restaurant, he was quite impressed with the hygiene and organization of the kitchen. In fact, some of the desserts Amy had on display impressed the famous chef. But when Amy mentions that they close the restaurant every time the owners aren't present, Chef Ramsey is taken aback. Now, the real show begins when the famous chef sits down to sample their menu. The famous chef had quite the negative reaction to their dishes, especially towards the fig and pear prosciutto pizza, which was way too sweet and had undercooked dough. Take a look at his reaction. The fig and pear and prosciutto pizza. Well, the crust is supposed to be good, but it's not that crusty. It's very, very sweet. And my dough's raw. Now, the two owners get quite irritated with his comments, but as he continues to sample the food, Chef Ramsay's opinion of the restaurant begins to change. Take a look at his reaction after tasting the red pepper ravioli. Oh, God. Sweet, spicy. I miss. It has to be one of the most confused ravioli dishes I've ever seen and tasted in my entire life. Wow. He then learned something from Sammy. Take a look at this. Sweet and spicy. Yeah. With bacon and sweet corn, topped with cilantro. Are these store-bought? Yes, the ravioli is. Thank you. When Chef Ramsay criticizes Amy for using frozen ravioli, she gets really annoyed. As you might have already guessed, Amy didn't take this criticism very well. Check this out. These are store-bought crap them. frozen ravioli. They're not crap and they're delicious. I can't because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. And to make things even worse, Chef Ramsay found out that the servers don't even get to keep their tips, which is truly appalling. How long have you been here? A uh, month and a half. Good tips? I don't make tips. Say that again? I make hourly. Serious? So where do the tips go? The owner. Sammy would pocket all the tips the servers received, and when he was confronted about this, check out what he said. Sammy, yeah. you cannot take servers' tips. 
then bring me the people who's going to do their job and I don't have to interfere, they can take the whole tips for them. But was Sammy actually as good as he claimed to be? We get to hear the truth from a server named Miranda. She opened up to Chef Ramsay and said, What is that doorbell on the side of the wall for? <laughs> Whenever we have dirty dishes, we ring it and then the busser comes and grabs the dishes from there. He didn't seem to know how to operate the POS system and when Miranda would offer to help him out, he would ask her to buzz off. Miranda, have you ever worked on a POS system? Yes, at every job that I've worked at. Every job. And how many jobs have you had before you worked at ABC? A lot. A lot. She doesn't need training. She knows how to do it. That doesn't really sound like someone who's good at their job. Finally, Chef Ramsay stays back to observe the dinner service and loses it when he sees Sammy collecting tips from the servers. Wow, $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No. They get our... That they go straight to the owner and not to the server. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'd be astounded? At this point, Chef Ramsay decided that enough was enough and made an announcement to the customers. This is what he said. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't f with me. Yeah, I will f do what yeah. the f thing you are. This was clearly the owner's breaking point. Soon after his announcement, Sammy ended up having a heated argument with Ramsey. It was filled with profanity and tons of yelling. Take a look at this. I'm fed up and getting sick and tired of your bullshit. Well, then f answer my question. Then my question. Tell the customers they're gonna get yeah. their tips. No, they don't. They should be told that you're taking them yeah. because this servers deserve yeah. them. Simultaneously, Amy was seen giving an attitude to her server, Katie Cipriano. When she handed an order and a table number to the server, Cipriano wanted to reconfirm the table since Amy had a habit of mixing things up. But instead of just giving her reassurance, Amy made a scene and told the server that she had attitude problems. In the end, this fight led to poor Cipriano being fired. Take a look at what happened. Poor me. Are you sure? You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. I'm sorry. Sammy? Yes, darling. I would appreciate it if you would send Katie home right no. now. No, no, I don't no, need no, an okay. attitude from her. I wasn't doing anything! I wasn't doing anything! You had an attitude from okay. me all night no, long, worry. Katie. Don't worry. Okay, please. Okay. I quit. No, you're not. I quit. You're not. You're not. She I quit. is quitting. No, she has quit. an attitude. She comes to the kitchen tonight. She's like, I set a table. She said, are you okay. sure? Because are you my boss? The next day, when Chef Ramsay returned to the restaurant, it was still closed and both Sammy and Amy were nowhere to be found. Chef Ramsay used this chance to speak with Henry and Jessica, who were former employees of the restaurant. Both of them complained about the terrible working conditions they faced. Henry said that Sammy had him clean his car, and Jessica said that 50 employees were fired during the 18 months that she worked there. Pam, another one of the employees, overheard the famous chef talking about Sammy and confessed that the crazy man even hit her once. In his final monologue, Chef Ramsay leaves the restaurant after realizing that they just weren't willing to make any adjustments. He pointed out that this was the first time he'd encountered restaurant owners that were so set in their ways. Before leaving, he points out that the restaurant has had over 100 different employees, which is awful. He even went on to say that Amy and Sammy enraged their neighborhood and were unable to handle criticism. The famous chef was certain that the deluded couple wouldn't have complied with any of the improvements he would have made to the restaurant. And instead, they would have wasted his time and effort. Now that we've recapped the episode for you, let's take a look at how it was received and why it's listed as the greatest Kitchen Nightmares episode of all time. Needless to say, with so much drama happening, the episode was a huge hit. There was tons of hype surrounding this episode that 3.34 million people tuned in to watch it. That's a lot of people. This episode had some of the best ratings and received tons of comments, with one person saying this episode is nothing short of amazing. The skyrocketing views and ratings were essential to launching this show into the mainstream. Quite obviously, the restaurant was bombed with negative reviews on Facebook, Yelp, and even Reddit after the episode aired. People just couldn't believe how rude the couple was. Amy and Sammy thought it would be a good idea to respond to these comments with aggressive statuses on their Facebook. They made sure to write them all in caps. In these messages, they belittled everyone who attempted to say anything unfavorable about them and called them losers, fools, and stupid. After getting even more backlash from this, they removed all of the posts they made and claimed that their account was hacked months later. As you can tell, this is why Forbes used their meltdown as an example to educate small businesses on the effects of social media. After the show had aired, the restaurant became a tourist attraction in Scottsdale with many visiting to see if it was real. Here's what one BuzzFeed reporter had to say about the episode. The episode of Kitchen Nightmares about Amy's baking company was a pretty special one because it was the first time Gordon Ramsay walked away from a restaurant. Wow which is something he never does, and it definitely sparked a curiosity. When asked about the viral episode and the mean comments on social media, the director of communications of Reddit said this. 
people were sharing all different types of content from satirical cartoons. Think that you can come in here and say these things. To YouTube videos. Meow, 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 meow. Clips, GIFs. To bank on the popularity and to further pique his viewers' interest, Chef Ramsay decided to revisit the restaurants in the seventh season. Fans were absolutely thrilled. Everyone wanted to know what happened to the Buzaglos and their restaurants after the episode aired. While the revisit was quite entertaining, fans were still upset with the couple's behavior. The new episode contained some never-before-seen clips from Chef Ramsay's journey to Amy's baking company. In it, we see what went down when Chef Ramsay gave Amy some honest feedback about her culinary skills. For those of you who missed it then, here's a quick look at that. These are store bought I crap understand. frozen ravioli. They're not crap and they're delicious and I the oh, first time I've ever oh okay. my God. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. I can't because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. The bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. There's no point in me saying anything to you because you just say, well, it's good like that. Well, whatever. The couple still had the same indifferent attitude and Chef Ramsay was clearly disappointed. If we're being honest, nothing really changed. The couple was even invited to the popular Dr. Phil show in 2014. They created quite the entertainment frenzy, and the audience seemed to love every second of it. They claimed that the customers on the show were actors, but this rumor was refuted on the show. Here's what Sammy had to say about all this. All those people you see, they were actors for Kitchen Nightmare. And they were Yelpers. They were not customers at all. My customers, I behave differently with okay, my customers. Now we did a drill down on that, and these people are not actors. Dr. Phil even gave the couple advice on how to better handle criticism. Check this out. Listen, you don't throw gas on a fire. Why take the bait? Well, what Because you, you say it's just editing, 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 but come on. They didn't, that was, that was an edit, I'm sure, around that. But you, that was you actually doing that. Yes, I did that, of course. The couple's time on Dr. Phil boosted their popularity even further. It not only increased the target rating point of the show, but also gave the Buzaglos a platform to express their side of the story, even if it was hostile. Well, this is indeed one of the greatest episodes in Kitchen Nightmares history. Amy's baking company permanently closed down in September of 2015. Amy stated that it wasn't due to the backlash from the series, but rather problems that they had with their landlord. The couple then relocated to Westwood, California in 2016. The latest we've heard is that the couple moved to Israel and that Amy continues to share her baked goodies on Instagram and TikTok. With that, we've sadly come to the end of the video. What do you think of Amy and Sammy's behavior on the show? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you liked our video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys!